channel if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be doing this really fun, colorful, koi fish inspired makeup look. And this is actually inspired by Jenny Dundee on Instagram. I've been following her for a while now and I saw whenever she posted this picture and I knew I wanted to recreate it somehow on myself. Now I can't draw, so kind of deciding how I wanted to do this was, you know, taking a little bit more of a leap. But I thought koi fish would be fun and to kind of make it look a little bit more watercolor, I don't know, I thought it'd be really cute. But her artwork is so amazing. You guys definitely need to check her out because I think I started falling in love with her work whenever I saw her post her astrology recreations as like people and it was so amazing and talented. I think it's absolutely incredible. So guys, definitely check her out. But anyways, if you want to see how you can recreate this koi fish inspired makeup look, just keep watching. To get started, I'm going to be taking my NYX Photo Loving Primer and applying that all over my face so we can fill in those pores so that it is a nice flawless base for our foundation. For my foundation, I'm using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and this is in the color Medium Sand and I'm just using a large Morphe buffing brush to blend this all out. Moving on to concealer, I'm taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and this is in the shade 15. However, they did recently change their shade names and colors. So this is actually in the new line, this is the number 14. And then I'm just going to be taking my F5 ColourPop Small Fluffy Brush to blend this out. I absolutely love this. I feel like it just blends it out so flawlessly. I personally prefer this more than a beauty blender. So if you can, check it out because it is definitely cheaper than a beauty blender and it is so easy and it's just, it's flawless. I absolutely love it. Next, we're going to be baking our concealer, taking our Airspun Translucent Powder and a dry Morphe sponge, and we're just going to be applying this over the areas that we use the concealer, and we're just going to let it sit while we fill in our eyebrows and move on to eyeshadow. Speaking of eyeshadow, we first need to prime our eyelids, so I'm taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer, and I'm just going to be applying this all over the lid, and then setting it with my white eyeshadow from my Morphe palette, and then accenting the brow bone so we can have a nice highlight. Next, I'm going to be taking this nude color and I'm just going to be applying that into the crease to serve as a transition shade before we move into this light peach color. I'm also going to be applying this into the crease. You want to make sure that you're blending this out so that it doesn't have any harsh lines. Next, I'm taking this bright orange eyeshadow and I'm just going to be applying this on the outer corner and softly blending it in towards the inner corner of the eye. Then I'm going to be going back into the white eyeshadow and just applying that all over the lid for now before we go ahead and blend this out. I'm then going to be taking this light shimmery lilac color and I'm going to be softly applying that over the lid because I don't want this to be too harsh, but I do want to have a nice highlight. Next, I'm taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and this is in Mad Max Brown and I'm just going to be tight lining my upper lash line. Next, we're going to be brushing away all of the excess translucent powder so we can move on to doing the rest of our face. I'm going to start off by taking my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, taking medium and dark cocoa, and I'm just going to be applying this to all the areas that I would like to chisel. So this is going to be under my cheekbones, my forehead, my jawline, and bringing it down to my neck as well. Next, I'm going to be taking this light peach color from my Morphe eyeshadow palette, and I'm also going to be using this as blush. So I'm just going to be stippling this on the apples of my cheeks. Next, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette, taking Eclipse, and I'm just going to be applying this to my cheekbones to really brighten them up and kind of add a pop of color. Once I'm done with that, I'm also going to be applying that to the inner corner of my eyes as well. Next, I'm taking my ColourPop Luxe Lipstick, and this is in the color Foolish, and I'm taking that on my finger and just applying that to the very inner parts of my lips before taking my MAC Lip Gloss and applying this all over my lips. Then I'm going to be taking my Eclipse highlighter from earlier and highlighting my brow bone just so we can brighten up that area a little bit more. For my lower lash line, I'm taking this purple eyeshadow and this is from my Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just applying this all over the lower lash line and then making sure to blend that out. Taking my Tarte Tardiest Lash Paint Mascara, I'm then just going to be sweeping this through my eyelashes. I don't know what was wrong with me today, but for some reason I couldn't be clean. I would keep getting mascara all over my eye, but a simple trick to clean this up is to wait until it's completely dry, taking a Q-tip and trying to wipe it off. For our lashes, we're going to be taking our Kiss Number no. 11 eyelashes and we're just going to be applying that to our upper lash line. I did want to keep this a little bit more natural and I really loved the look that this gave, so it was definitely what I was going for. Then once they are completely dry you're just going to be taking your Kat Von D eyeliner again and applying this over the lash band so that you can hide any of the excess glue. 
Next, I'm going to be taking my Maryland Paradise paint in yellow, and I'm going to be starting on one of my koi fish. So for this, I definitely wanted it to have more of a watercolor effect, so it's really just a process of creating a little bit, stopping, and going in with a different color to continue the look. So it's a lot of starting and stopping until you kind of get your final product. The next color I am using is my Maryland Paradise paint in orange, and I'm just going to be creating the other tail and kind of adding some shadows to the top of this fish. As you can see, it's definitely just a lot of connecting, adding shadows and highlights. It's definitely easier to start with the lighter colors first and then go with the darker, but as you can see, I did kind of create the other tail with the orange, and then I'm connecting it with the yellow paint as well. Taking my Maryland Paradise paint in white, I'm then going to be creating a few tiny highlights on my fish before we move on to darkening it up, taking my Graftobian Pro paint in red crimson, and I'm just going to be adding a few more shadows and details to this fish. Taking my Maryland Paradise paint in light blue, I am then going to go ahead and start on the other koi fish. So once again, I'm starting off with the lighter color, just loosely creating the shape I want for the koi fish, kind of pointing it up at the head, and then kind of almost creating a little bit of a figure eight shape-wise, and then I'm just going to be building that up and filling it in as I like. Next, I'm taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Wild Violet, and I'm going to be adding the shadows and the other colors on this fish as well. So kind of like what I did with the orange, I'm just going to be adding, and then I'm alternating between the blue and purple, just kind of building up different color gradients before I move on to my Graftobian Pro Paint in Catalina Blue and kind of fill in the excess open areas. Next, I'm going back into my white body paint and I'm just going to be creating some bubbles. Now, I definitely had to look up some reference photos for bubbles so I can really try and get that reflected look. So I'm basically just taking a bunch of different colors. Right now, I'm going into my Maryland Paradise paint in light blue and outlining the bubble with that light blue color. And then we're also going to be going into our Graftobian Pro paint and this is in shocking pink. And we're just going to be filling that in with a little bit of the hot pink color just so we can add a little bit more gradient before we go in with the white again to add the highlight on the bubble. I also decided I wanted to bring this up onto my face as well. Next, I'm going to be taking my Maryland Paradise paint in orange and a chip brush, and I'm just going to be creating some orange colored freckles on my face. I'm then going to be taking the same colors from earlier that I used for the bubbles, and I'm just going to be adding all of these details on to the bubbles on my face as well. Next, I'm taking my NYX Liquid Crystal Liner and I'm just going to be adding a little bit of glitter onto my bubbles just so it can look a little bit more iridescent. Then to make this makeup look a little bit more three-dimensional, I'm taking my black eyeshadow and just applying this under the koi fish just so it can give them a shadow and I'm also going to be applying it under my bubbles as well. Going back to the koi fish, I decided that I actually didn't put on like their little mustaches, so I'm just going to be filling that in and then giving them eyeballs with my Maryland Paradise paint in black, and they're just going to be tiny little dainty things, nothing too big or distracting. I was then torn if I wanted to add another koi fish onto my face, and so I asked my friend, and he said that it would be a good idea to kind of add like a green one, so I'm taking my Maryland Paradise paint in teal, and I'm going to be creating another koi fish just surrounding my temple and forehead area. Then I'm going to be taking my Graftobian Pro paint in mantis green, and I'm just adding a few colorful highlights. Shout out to Isaac because this definitely really improved the look in my opinion, and it kind of filled in all of the empty space that I definitely wanted to see filled. Next, I'm just going to be giving my koi fish a few little eyeballs, and I'm also going to be adding bubbles around its mouth as well. I'm also going to be adding some black eyeshadow under it to make this koi fish look three-dimensional as well, before adding some white highlights onto the fish. Next, I'm taking this green eyeshadow from my Morphe 35B palette and applying this to the outer corner of my lower lash line, and then I'm going to be taking the yellow eyeshadow and applying it towards the inner corner of the lower lash line. I definitely felt like these colors helped bring the look together. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!